Hey guys, what's going on? It is Brian Chishin here, and today I am looking yet again at the cluster bombs that you saw in the previous video. Sorry, not cluster bombs, that's what I'm doing. What I was looking at in the previous video was the warheads, and I've came up with a really, really sketchy cluster bomb design, but obviously it can be refined in time, but I'm just testing out the theory of how it would work. Now, how I have it set up here is I have a few uh, warheads attached to landing gears. I had a mental blank for a second there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, I have a few warheads attached to landing gears, which, when fired, this one reactor, which is powering the whole thing, will hit the ship, or hit whatever target it is, and it'll destroy the reactor. And when the reactor is destroyed, all the power turns off, unleashing the warheads at whatever whatever's out there whatever you're hitting so obviously like I said it can be refined a bit more you can have all these inside the actual missile and you can have it like a pinpoint design and however you want it but I just did this really quickly just so I could test out how it would work so now I'm just gonna quickly fire it and see if it actually works I'm gonna try my best to get over there uh, relatively quickly I should try and no fuck it up sorry I'm not going to slow it down. Let's get out of there and let's see. No, I'm not going to catch it. I'm definitely not going to catch it. I wanted to see if it would cluster. Damn, that's so hard to tell. It did have a pretty sizable impact. And as you can see, it did lose power because there goes the rock. I don't even know where the uh, core is. I need to get a better angle of that. I'll be back in a second when I get a better angle. See you guys in a sec. And we're back. Okay, so what I've done now is I've removed all the generators along here until you get towards the end. So hopefully it should have a really, really slow acceleration and it should allow me enough time, hopefully, to get over there to, well, watch it. If, if not, there's no other way I can really see myself doing this. So, um, well, let me save again so I can make any changes afterwards. And let me uh, try this. So there's, I actually have to hit three keys uh, relatively quickly. So why that that did that not work? Was that not enough? No. Oh, it's going. Okay, I should have started. I knew it had a slow start. I don't think it would be that slow though. So let's see if we can watch it scatter. Here it comes, and it didn't lose its power. Why does it still have power? That is surprising. There's no... <laughs> there's no energy in there. You clearly definitely don't want energy in there. The stones and all landing gear is gone, but these are still... holding on. I don't know what to say. It can't be the gyros. The gyros don't have any power to them. Oops. No, look, the landing gear is still holding onto the warhead. Even without power. Well, I guess that makes that busted, unless I stick the, um, unless I stick the warheads on a block themselves, that might work, but until then. Pretty. Let's uh, try sticking it on blocks, I'll resume it in a second. Okay, so here I have attached it to a few blocks. I'm yet to break apart the blocks, so I'm going to do that now and see how it holds. They all still hold well. Let me quickly lock that in. T, P, P. Y. Sorry, T, T. I was trying to press T to get out. And they should have all locked in. Now, hopefully, hopefully that will be enough to release them. So, uh, where would that console go? I don't really want the console there. So, uh, actually, you know what I'll do? I'll make this longer. I'll make this a little, a little bit longer. Just so, uh, just so we can have enough time to see it. I'll s uh, at least make sure it releases on impact. So put that there, remove you. And that should be good to go. Okay, let me get to the top of the cannon, which is up here. Let me unequip that for a second. Now let's try this for the third time. I guess all my stuff's full of trial and error. Okay, release now. 
T get out and hopefully I will beat it. I will beat it, it doesn't go that fast anymore, but I'll turn the HUD off for dramatic effect. And let me slow down over here, it's just coming, there we go, come on, work for me. It's, oh, well, that was an explosion. It still didn't release, it's still holding on, I don't know what power it has left. Knowing my luck, there's still some power unit in here somewhere, look at that. It clearly has power still, or at least the landing gear is broken. Actually, let me stick it, see if I can stick a console, hey, come back here, let me stick a console on you. I want to see if you've got power still. Ugh. Okay, this is... T -t -t -t. Oh, come on. This is going to be so damn difficult. But I want to see why it still has power. It has zero power. Zero reactors, but landing gear still holds. Damn, that's a broken theory then. Oh, well, there we go. So, apparently, you can still release stuff manually, but... Landing gear does not shut off when power- oh wait, yeah, duh, that doesn't make any sense, does it? When you turn on the power on the ship, it still stays locked in. Oh, that- it took me three attempts to realize that? Oh, well, maybe- maybe I'll change something. Maybe later on in the line, I'll make it so that if power is off, landing gear loses its power. Because, yeah, it took me that long to realize that, uh, having no power doesn't really affect it. Oh well, at least you guys now know, at least I know, that my cluster bombs will not work in that regard, so I'll have to figure out something new. Thank you guys for watching, see you guys next time.